This is Dolany TV, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening and welcome into another edition of, I guess, what you could call Oilers Talk. But more importantly than that, we're going to put a mission statement on this one tonight. The Oilers facing the Canucks, a couple of wins away from securing home ice in the playoffs. They clinched last night. Heck yeah, they did, baby. And, well, now we find ourselves, if you're an Albertan, in another fun situation with the old uh, restrictions and stuff coming into effect over the next couple of days. So I wanted to take this time. The thing is, what I really tend to forget with this channel is that I have a platform to do some good here. And the one thing I can do good is, as I've seen some other hockey podcasters do on Twitter already this evening, is get the word out for some local businesses in everybody's areas, corners of Alberta, and get them some support. So that's what I'm looking to do in this video tonight. Win or lose, don't matter to me for the Oilers. We're in. We clinched last night. It is good to go, baby. But what I'm looking to do right here, right now, is turn some of that excitement, right? A, the excitement of seeing me, if you get excited about seeing me on YouTube. I still kind of struggle with that one, but hey, you know what? That's part of the whole game, right? But... Take the excitement of clinching, take the excitement of the fact that I uploaded a video, merge them together and let's do some good for a business here in Alberta. So what I want you to do is either throw something on Twitter, throw something on Facebook, throw something here in the comments section on YouTube and just link whatever you need to link to get a uh, restaurant some names. So like if you've got a neighborhood you go to all the time in Edmonton or you got a neighborhood in Calgary or some local restaurant in your town. I'm not asking for phone numbers and stuff. People can do a little research on their own. But what I'm saying is drop a name, drop a location, tell people what's special about it to you and get it going ladies and gentlemen because no matter what side of any debate you're on over the past year and a half, our friends and family that work the restaurant business as someone who has had family run restaurant businesses in the past lives I've lived. I, I, I do have family members that for a long time ran restaurants. I'm going to tell you, this one's near and dear to my heart. And what I want to see people do is go out there and make sure people who, in my opinion, are unfairly suffering because no matter how you want to say, right, there's multiple two factors and I can never fully explain why I think that is. But, right, I want to see the folks in the restaurant industry who are there no matter what's going on in our lives, right, whether you're having a great day or a bad day. You know what? That's most times you're going to the same restaurants, you're going to support the same people. I want to see them get the support from more people and get the support of the community in a time in which they need that support to get going here. Because this just continues on and they are the ones every time that suffer every time new restrictions come out. So ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't already, please drop that name, that location of your favorite restaurant, your favorite local restaurant in the description. And let's get some of the greatest Albertans in the province, the entrepreneurs that make this province so great, some support this weekend going on. It's Wednesday night now. Right, Thursday night, you might be working only Monday through Thursday, four tens, right? Hey, I know something about the world. Or you might be looking for something on Friday night, or you might be looking for something on the weekend, or you might be looking for something every night of the week. I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, there's an Oilers game on. You might be looking for something to order from, and you might not want to do it on Skip the Dishes. Well, get in there. Get in the comments. Discuss. Let's go. Let's find some... Great places to eat. I'm going to list you off mine, right? I've made my mission statement clear. If you're up in Cold Lake, i got to tell you, if you're new to town, obviously this is probably only because you're new to town. If you haven't gone out to Mama Cita's in Cold Lake, you're missing out. If you're in Bonneville, if you're in St. Paul, you got to go to town, literally what, however you do that, all safety and such, and just go pick some food up, call it in, go pick it up. Great go if they're still open. Um... In, in Bonneville, Players Lounge obviously is one of my favorite places to go in town. So if you're in Bonneville, uh, right there, there's my pick. I think that's everybody's pick in Bonneville, but far be it from me to tell you that much. Um, Edmonton. Edmonton, where, where am I going in Edmonton? Well, I, I think I'm going down to Handy Bakery in Edmonton. I know they do takeout sandwiches and stuff last I heard. So they're just down there in... 
what would be west on 118th midway between Nate and where Rexall once was, where the Oilers used to play, right? There we go. Uh, perfect Pizza in Airdrie is another pick for me. And if you're in Calgary and you have not discovered this hidden gem yet, you got to go out to Signore's Pizza in Northwest Calgary, just off of Beddington Trail in the Northwest. You'll find it over there if you go looking for it. So, ladies and gentlemen, those are my picks all the way covering the map. I don't know where else to tell you. I haven't really eaten anywhere too crazy in Lethbridge when I was there. Um, Red Deer, yes. Red Deer, Mojave Smokehouse. Yes, you got to go there. There's also a uh, pizzeria joint, I think, attached to the same building. So maybe check that out at the same time. Ladies and gentlemen, you want food recommendations? I got food recommendations for you, let me tell you. Definitely. That covers a broad spectrum of places you can go eat over everywhere in the province that I've tracked myself down through. So make sure to do that. But again, what are you doing? Why are you listening to my recommendations? Drop your recommendations and let's get this going. And let's hopefully get this going towards the last six games. Game number 51 on the clock right now. The Oilers, last I checked, 0-0 against the Canucks. Is that still true by the time I upload this? I guess we'll find out. I'm Tyson, this is Stolen TV. I am up on out of here.